Hey Joe, this week I want to talk to you about the first week of school. Welcome to season two of Educating Joe, where I, just an average Joe teacher, talk about various topics in education to my lovely wife, who just happens to be named Joe. Since this is a weekly vlog, I'll be trying to upload a video every Wednesday, but now that this is season two and I kind of maybe know what I'm doing a little bit, uh, there's a few things I wanna change up for this year. First, I wanna to try to keep my videos a little bit shorter. I'm always gonna be shooting for that five minute mark instead of the 10 minutes I did last time. And then I also want to have a general theme for each week of the month. So week one, I'll be trying to talk about some sort of activity that I'm super excited uh, to do with my students. Week two, I'll be focusing on some sort of tech tool that I utilize to help my students learn science. Week three, some sort of general uh, teaching philosophy that I have that I think is important. And then week four, I'll talk about one of my pet projects that I like called Weird Animal Wednesday, where we Skype with various scientists. August has already ruined my plans because for some reason it has too many Wednesdays. So I'm just gonna pretend that the first Wednesday never happened and that this is the third week. So I get to talk to you about some sort of general teaching philosophy. And for the first week, I thought it'd be appropriate to start with the first day of school. So I just wanna kinda of walk you through the schedule that my students go through with me the first few days of, of class. First, when they come, I do have a seating chart for my students. Now, I'm not a huge fan of seating charts because it makes me feel like I'm in charge bossing these lowly students around. But for the first week, just to help me out, I put them in alphabetical order so I can start to learn their names. But then all the other weeks, they'll be able to choose their table partners so they have someone that they really feel that they can learn from and work well with. So after they find their seat, I have them start downloading some apps that they'll need. That way, by the time we get to using them, they'll be ready to go on their iPads. Then I do all the talking that I have to get through for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I try to focus mainly on things that I think are important as a teacher. So the first thing I talk about is how important it is to have relationships with my students. And so I talk about um, the idea of teacher versus student, that I don't really like that idea and it's more we're all in this together, working together. Um, so I try to let them get to know me a little bit uh, through social media. So I let them know my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, Snapchat accounts. Um, another thing that's really important for them to know besides that relationships are important is the idea of a transparent classroom where it shouldn't be a mystery what's going in my room. Anyone who cares should be able to look and see what we're doing. So posting blogs, uh, putting things on social media, getting their work out there, getting their parents involved um, so they know that that's the norm. Third, I want to talk to them about not just learning science from me, but pulling various experts who are way cooler than I will ever be to get them excited about science and help them visualize themselves what they can do in science besides just healthcare or a teacher. And then the last thing we talk about is um, some skills that I want to help them develop that they'll use throughout their life no matter what their passions are. Once I'm done blabbing on for 15 minutes, then we get into our last 45 minute chunk since we're on block scheduling, and that is where I let them play around with the different apps. So I have four main apps that I want them to be experts at. Evernote, EduPuzzle, ThingLink, and then Canva. And I might talk about more of those uh, in the week two episodes coming up. Um, so I have four stations set up, they get into groups, and they have 10 minutes at each station, and then they rotate through learning how to use those uh, apps. Uh, and that brings us to the end of the first day. When they come back on day two, uh, we start off with just a review of a mission statement. So I want to address the the idea that I had when I was in high school in classes that maybe weren't my favorite and that is if science isn't your passion or if you don't want to pursue a career in science, why are you sitting through a science class? So we talk about some skills that they can develop besides just the biology content. For example, even if you never use meiosis the rest of your life, at least you can develop skills that we learned while learning meiosis, like the communication, teamwork, and collaboration. Um, so that way, Everybody in my class has a purpose, even if they can't imagine themselves using it in the future. The last thing I do is I have a poster that's a mnemonic device called Plant, and that is just a way that my students can show me that they're listening, or they can show their other classmates or table partners that they're paying attention to what they say, and kind of talk a little bit about respect. But like I said, I don't go through a bunch of rules. A, they've probably gone through that 
two other times before they get to my room. And they've been in school for 10 years by the time they get to me. They know everything that teachers want them to do, and they know everything that we don't want them to do. So there's no need for me to go over it again. Also, we don't have any assignments. I'm not a huge fan of homework and assignments anyway, especially the first few days when there's so much uh, social things going on. I don't get to my content until the second half of the second day. So they we're all on the same page with my expectations before we get into the content. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Educating Joe. Feel free to like, share, comment, or subscribe. And to all you other Educating Joes out there, have a great week teaching. <laughs>